Hello friends, this is Dipali. I am here to share my knowledge on Success Factors Employee Central. In this video, we will learn how an employee can record absences for himself. I have given the username and password of the employee who will do the time recording for himself. And I will now log in. On the top right hand corner, I can see my login user who is Smith. Smith wants to record absences for himself. He will go to the time of tile. The tile itself shows some information. It says that the next time off is in two days. This means that after two days, Smith will be on leave. And it also shows the annual leave hours, which is zero in this case. So this means that Smith does not have any balances remaining in the annual leave quota. I will click on the style. Clicking on the style takes me to the time of page for Smith. The time of page shows a lot of details. If you see here, it shows the calendar for the current month and the previous month. The current date or the today's date is marked with a purple border. Here we can see the different legends and how different colors represent different days and the status on the time of screen. Working day is marked as light gray and the non-working days are dark gray in color. These are those days which are day offs from the work schedule. If you select any particular day, it gets selected with a blue color. We have different colors for different statuses like green is approved, yellow is pending and cancellation pending is red in color. On the right hand side, we can see the balances. The annual leave balance for this employee is zero. Show all takes me to the balance overview and it shows the list of all the time types and the available balance respectively as of today by default. If you want to check the balances as of different dates, you can select a different date and check the balances. It shows minus 12 because as of 14th of August, there are already leaves applied before this date. That is for 5th and 6th. It is showing 12 because for 6th, there is a half day recording and for 5th, there is a full day recording already done. The balance is coming as negative because this particular time account allows negative balances up to a certain limit. It is something which is already configured in the time account type. Clicking on the account view gives me the different account balance overview, which are the different time accounts assigned to the employee, the earned, taken, the future hours on the available balances for respective time accounts which are assigned to the employee. Down below, we see the upcoming time off. We see for 5th of August, there is a four hours of leave which is already approved. And for 6th of August, eight hours are already approved for this employee. If I click on any of it, it takes me to the request details. These are all the details of this particular time record. I have the option to either edit this absence. I can either change a instead of full day if I want to make it as half day. I can see the start time and the end time field start appearing. And say instead of uh, 4.30, I want, it, want the end time to be as 12.30. I'll give 12.30 here. And if you see, these are marked as mandatory, the red star that is there next to each of these fields. And once I send the request, it goes for approval if it is configured or else it is auto approved. In this case, it says there is no approval necessary. And if I click on show all, this screen shows me all the absences and the Holidays. If I click on absences tab, it shows all the absences and holidays shows only the holidays. The filter option allows me to filter with the future events and the past events. If I click on past events, it shows me all the holidays which were in the past. 
or the future event shows me all the holidays which are in the future the similar holds good for the absences so the past absences or the future absences in this case both 5th and 6th of august are in future so it is showing me in the future and there is no past event so it says no events so this is how the employee can do a time request or a new time absence or edit the absences so the new time absence you can do from the new absence as well Third of august which is a saturday i can give another date i have given 8th of august and the error is gone by default it takes full day as a time recording and the requesting hours is eight hours this is coming from the work schedule because my full day is defined as eight hours in my work schedule available balance is minus eight hours because i already have submitted two half days of leave on 5th and 6th of august that is why it is showing me as minus eight hours it is showing negative because negative booking is allowed up to a certain limit against this particular time type and then i can give some comments and provide some attachments if at all necessary and then send the request and we can see here that for 8th of august it is approved so this is how an employee can record an absence from the time of page Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful for you. Please click like and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to get notifications on my new video.